Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to go through a typical workflow using SEO.ai. So this is the home screen. First thing we're going to want to do is create a project. Now, when you're on the creation, the project creation screen, you're going to have a few things that you're going to have to fill out, including the domain of the client or your company, the project name, audience, tone of voice, and then context for the project. Uh, I already have this stuff pre-made. I'm going to use a new client of mine just to test it out, test out the waters, see how it goes. So I put in the website. I already have my keyword research and my target keyword. So I'm just going to use that as the project name. We're going to put that in there. Then we're going to look at the audience and I have already made a brief description of the audience as well as tone of voice although it does provide you with some suggestions so if you look at tone of voice you have a bunch of pre-made templates for tone of voice and just go down the list you can choose or you can make your own I kind of like this one here persuasive compelling inspire the reader to take action Good, I like that one. And then just a brief description of the project. I'm gonna put here, they don't give you too many characters. And then we go to create project and wait for the next screen. So once you've created the project, it's going to give you kind of a preliminary look at the top keywords. It's gonna show you their search volume, the SEO difficulty, cost per click, which is kind of helpful. Some of these are really good. Actions on the side here, you can choose to auto-generate an article, just one click. I haven't done that yet. I've just been doing it kind of manually. And at the top here, there's some other tools, AI uh, Keyword Explorer. You can export this list for future use, which is great. Now I want to show you this uh, kind of interesting tool that comes with SEO.ai. It's this AI Keyword Explorer. So you would essentially type in your target keyword and essentially look for keywords that are related to it. I'm just going by their suggestion. I haven't played around too much with this, but once you plug in the keyword, it's gonna give you a bunch of additional keywords here. Now I found that these ones weren't that great. A lot of these were broad, uh, maybe the search quality, my search quality was not too good but uh, I, do prefer, I do prefer the first list that they gave me, which was here in the dashboard. Yeah, I much prefer this list and you can expand that view. So yeah, I like these ones better. So now that you've made the list of keywords you wanna target, we're ready to start the document. You hit this plus arrow key and it takes you to a new screen. So this is the home screen for creating the document. First thing we're going to do is run this report. So we're just going to type in our keyword here, and now it's going to create a report with, firstly, a bunch of different search intents. So these are great for an FAQ section, potentially. I know in the past, if you click these, it just kind of creates you a paragraph. So that's great. I mean, look at that. You already have a large number of paragraphs. So this is the completion of this report. This top section shows you the target SEO score, and essentially it's their own version of requirements, which they will get auto-populated as you start creating the piece. So it's going to be rating a bunch of different things like, you know, how many times you've used a particular keyword, your meta tags and titles and so on. So we're at a target of 59 there. So that's kind of where you'll wanna be. And you know, as you go through the piece, it's gonna help you with that. Then we also have your kind of competitor SERP results and kind of where you wanna be hit and which targets you wanna be, be hitting. So we have a few sections here that are already filled out. You're gonna click auto-generate the outline and this is a very important piece that i've been using in my own custom prompts this is a very awesome feature actually for seo.ai which i've been doing other fe other products don't have this now it's going to create you a pretty good outline with even already using h2 tags and h3 tags which is great however i already have a pre-made outline so i'm just going to use my outline because 
that's going to give it even more kind of uniqueness, right? As opposed to just relying on, a, on an AI tool to create an outline for you. I've already done that. I would recommend everybody to do this for anything. So let's populate this now. So I have, I have now added my own unique set of H2 and H3 tags to the outline. And before we start, there is a brief here. And I've already added a couple of extra things that I want to be included, uh, kind of formatting and, you know, just assuring that it's unique, right? The whole point here is to create something that is very unique and is able to pass AI detection. So I've included that. Now you're going to want to enter a title. Uh, usually it's going to auto populate for some reason here today. It's just going, I don't know what's going on. So it's taking a little too long. So I already have a title ready. So let's just use that one, shall we? I'm gonna copy that, paste it in here. And right there, it already starts giving you a score. So I'm at 24 already. And the title itself here at the top, it shows 82, so that's good. Now we are ready to generate a draft. So let's do that. And there you have it. This is the final version of the blog and all that's left to do is do some editing. You can see here SEO score is far above what SEO.ai target was. If you want to rank fast, they even have little quotes, little quote boxes. It's about 2,700 words, which is great. Uh, good length, a couple of spelling, spelling errors. I think that was that was my problem. But in any event, it gives you this nice blog bullet points and different sections. So that's great. Uh, in a different video, I will probably go in and edit the content and show you if it was good or not for my standards. There's a couple of other features. If you select a paragraph, a sentence, you can ask it to rewrite it. Uh, let's say rewrite it, make it less promotional. I don't want that. And it'll rewrite you something that's a bit long. Maybe I have to specify what I want it to write. But in any event, you can see, you can rewrite it. I probably recommend you rewriting it on your own. Uh, let's try, hmm, let's look for a piece here. Let's take this and say, rewrite only this paragraph and add some humor. Let's see if it's funny. Yeah, it looks pretty funny. Kind of living like a sardine in a can, cramped in a tiny condo with no space. Yeah, not bad. SEO's got jokes. Anyway, this is kind of, you know, this is, this is the idea. I'm going to do more videos in depth. The last thing that you do want to do uh, this is before it's finalized. This is what I do. I'm going to plug it into a AI content detector. I use this one. Copy and paste. Let's check. Drum roll. 82. So not bad. At the end of the day, I'm going to go over it, see if it's good, see if it... I don't like to base it solely on this, but in any event, hope you enjoyed it.